Hi guys! Welcome to 30 Days of Art episode 28. Oh my gosh, can't believe we're on 28 already. If you would like to see a 30 minute version of this video that has audio commentary, color mixing guidelines, and other fun rewards, check out patreon.com slash happydartist. So let us begin. Um, before I dive into today's topic of discussion, I wanted to just say a quick thank you because I cannot believe we are only two episodes left of um, ending 30 Days of Art. Like it's been such an incredible journey. I did not know it would get that, this type of response when I began, I think six months ago. And yeah, for those of you who have followed me this whole time, um, what a journey we've, we've all been on. I so appreciate you guys sticking with me. And for those of you who have joined me recently, I'm so grateful to have bumped into you along the way. So as this journey comes to a conclusion, I just want to say that I'm not done with YouTube or making these videos. I want to continue and I would love to find another type of video series that I could maybe partake in. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations on a theme that I could use as like the carrying vehicle for another video series, please let me know. And um, also keep in mind the theme should be fairly open so that I can incorporate a variety of videos into the series. So yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing your recommendations. And today's topic of discussion, we shall begin, is quite a sensitive one, but I think it's a very interesting topic to talk about and I would love to hear your thoughts as well. Um, but the topic is envy. So I feel like this can also pertain to not just art or art related issues. I think this is applicable to many facets of our lives, many different careers, many different age groups and you know phases of life. So I remember the first time I felt envy, I was a kid and I think all of us kids are very familiar with that emotion. Um, you know, like you're envious of a more popular person in school, you're envious of someone you see on TV, or you know, envious of someone with better grades, or maybe of a sibling. I mean, there, I feel like from a very young age, it's just such a common feeling, and it's because I think we're socially programmed to be competitive, you know, whether it's what we watch on TV or how we are ranked in school or when we take exams or, you know, the reactions that certain levels of beauty or success or money or charm, you know, the types of reactions people have to them versus the types of reactions people have to maybe introverts or people who aren't as outgoing or people who don't get great good grades or earn a lot of money. So whatever age you are, whatever phase you are in life, envy arises from just a simple, I think, social truth and an <laughs> inevitable truth that people who are better in some way um, get rewarded more. And I think it's easy to pick up on that and it's easy to have that feeling be prevalent through our decision making and kind of how we dictate our lives. And I found that over the years, <sighs> I, I don't experience an abnormal amount of envy, but I feel like as the years go on, I feel it less and less. Like more and more I'm able to be genuinely happy for others without feeling the need to compete with them or feeling discouraged because they've achieved a goal that I haven't achieved yet. I can genuinely be happy for everyone, including strangers, you know, and I think it's because I've really... I really went through a useful thought exercise. Maybe I shouldn't say thought exercise, but it's more like a way to, for me to define and organize the concept of envy. And then when I do that, it becomes a lot easier for me to tackle instead of just being like, oh, stop being jealous, get over it. I really try to break it down into like digestible pieces. So I thought I would share that with you guys. And basically I categorized envy into two parts. The first type of envy is the envy because someone has something that you can never have. Like they were born into a, a affluent family, you know, that made them naturally wealthy. They didn't have to work for it. Or they're born like naturally slim with high metabolism and they're six feet tall. Like things that I can never change about me, like goals or um, dreams that I can never achieve no matter how hard I try. Like that is 
a common source of envy and I think we all feel that way and um, yeah it's it's hard to avoid that feeling especially when someone just got so lucky with the genetic lottery or you know with, with how with the family they're born into or with the opportunities that they get to have that other people have to fight for they might have it very easily so that type of envy quite normal and the second type of envy is a is a more strange one it's envy towards someone because they're at a place in their life that I want to be whether that's they have better skills than I do or they have more success or they have you know a, a better reputation more fame um, you know like this is very common I guess like in school or in your careers like if someone got better grades and it's like a straight A student and it's gonna get into all the nice colleges or you're envious of someone who's like amazing at you know singing or dancing or painting or anything like that and you just wish you were that good or you wish you were at that level um, but that's that's the type of thing that you can change with the right amount of work. So there's two types of envy. There's envy because someone got something that you could never achieve, and there's envy that someone has something that you could achieve with hard work. So to tackle both types of envy, you have to have completely different thought processes. The first type of envy is um, something that honestly you just have to talk yourself out of. Like just realize how much time you're wasting by dwelling on something that you can never change. If you're envious because someone is tall and naturally skinny or you're envious because someone is wealthy or has all these opportunities or born into a famous family or born into wealth and they don't have to work hard, I mean, that's something that no matter how much you complain about it or how down you get about it, it's not gonna change. So this is something you just kinda have to kick yourself and like try to eradicate from your mindset try to eradicate any of those thoughts if you catch yourself thinking about it like snap your fingers and force yourself to stop because this is nothing but a waste of time if you can't change something or you can't do anything about it there's really no point in dwelling on it and the second type of envy is the one i'm going to talk about more today it's the one that's more important and that's the type of envy that you can turn into motivation you can harness all the energy that you um, devote to feeling jealous of someone's skills or someone's success and instead like use that energy and turn it into productivity try to achieve that goal try to use them as an inspiration or a motivator um, for example it's so easy for an artist to be well i only know about this because i'm an artist but i'm sure this happens in other industries as well um, but it's so easy for me or anyone in a similar situation as me to be jealous of someone else like an artist who's super successful who gets all the recognition at galleries and magazines an artist that everyone knows by name an artist that has more followers an artist that you know sells their paintings immediately and sells them for like tens of thousands of dollars like of course we're gonna be envious it's only natural but what I have learned lately is once I stop treating them like the enemy and start treating them as someone who is on my team, like we're all artists, we're all trying to achieve the same goal. We should support each other. We should not be focusing on competing. Rather, we should be focusing on supporting each other and being inspired by each other. Then that is when I kind of realized just how much energy and how much motivation envy can bring to the table. I, you know, instead of moping about myself and feeling bad and feeling, you know, not appreciating my own hard work or appreciating my own accomplishments, I started being like, wow, well, if so-and-so can make it, then so can I. Or if so-and-so put in, you know, 20 years of hard work, then maybe I can be that good when I'm 50 or something. You know, like, I try to think about it that way. I, tr I treated us all on the same side, on the same team. Just because you, you're envious of someone doesn't mean that they're your enemy or that you should be going against them or competing with them. You should be using it as um, a motivator because they've achieved something that you want to achieve, which means that dream that you have is possible with hard work. So if you're feeling envious of someone because they have better grades than you or are more skilled than you or got promoted faster than you or make more money than you, then, you know, yes, like, acknowledge yourself and let yourself feel envious like we can't avoid it but try to put a positive note on it don't immediately feel jealous and kind of hate someone or not hate hate is too strong of a word but you know don't start disliking someone or having any negative associations with them just because they worked hard and got everything they deserved instead use them as a role model and inspiration 
So <laughs> this concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like limited edition prints of this piece, it's available at happyd-artist.com. And before I end this video, I wanted to proudly share with you guys these amazing entries from last month's coloring challenge. It's only $1 to enter and there's a new challenge every month. So check that out at patreon.com slash happydartist. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.